back to a few rails here because who's doing this Adam Cole writing? They may be uh, doing some rails. Um, Adam Cole comes to the ring for a promo where he's cut off by, just instantly, by Roderick Strong and Matt Damon and Mike Bennett, all the talents of whom I have thought in the past were just swell and have been bungled and mismanaged and beaten into powder and booked into nonsensibility here in this company. And Roddy was doing a screaming thing. Yes, Adam! Yeah. Adam! Like, we needed to be reminded of that. And then they come out and tell Adam Cole that, that's right, MJF used you. He used you to get the fans to care about him for once. He didn't check on Adam Cole, you know, while he was hurt. We did. We've always been your friends. We, and that's why we said yes to this plan instantly a year ago. It wasn't about Max. It was about us being back together. So wait, now the story is, instead of Adam Cole being the devil and these three annoying fucking heels and not done one goddamn redeeming thing since they've been in this company, they got together out of pure honor and the, being the salt of the earth and they're just good-hearted people to connive and plot and plan of how to get even with MJF for being such a prick when MJF was acting like a nice guy for the first time in his life. And that's why they had to call their leader the devil. When Adam was finally revealed to be behind the whole plot against MJF, it was... God damn it. They said it was about us being back together and Roddy said, I'm so proud of you for coming back from this severe ankle injury. <laughs> and the crowd is being deathly silent. Just, quiet, yeah, yeah. They're like, what, what, what? Is and now they want to finish taking MJF out together. So it's going to be four baby faces against one heel. And Roddy says, <laughs> and I know you want him, Adam, but I want MJF first. And the crowd, there was light booing. There was like, oh, no, no, no. Don't prolong this. That's what the crowd was saying. Yes, it was, it was disenchantment booing. It was, oh, oh no, no you give us that. <laughs> and then Adam Cole, to, to be the... The leader of honor amongst this group of sterling white knights in shining armor, Adam Cole says, yeah, let's finish it right here tonight. Max, come down here so the four of us can take turns whipping your ass. Oh, goddamn. How can you turn that fucking offer down? <laughs> come on down here by yourself, you no good pricks. All four of us can just beat the shit out of you. You know what, they really funny they And then MJF appears on the screen and he's getting a massage from a, a girl named, I, don't, I can't remember what her name was, uh, uh, Mulva. Mulva. Uh, Mulva. It was her name. Uh, no, Tatiana. Um, I thought it was it was Tatiana. Didn't we establish it was pronounced a Tatiana? <laughs> when did we establish this? Well, that's his girlfriend, Alicia Tatiana, right? <laughs> I didn't realize what you were referencing. I had no idea what you were Yeah, that's the way he said it, because we, we weren't sure. It's not Alicia Tatiana, it's Alicia Tatiana. Let me just stop here. Tatiana, Tatiana. That's like the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. This is two weeks in a row where Adam Cole has called that MJF getting video played. Yes. And he's on the massage table. He's got his, his sweet, sweet bits are covered up, but Tatiana has access to him. And he, he just cuts another promo that you can tell it's not live. He's not anywhere in that building. He's cut these things probably all the same day so that he can have some peace quiet. But it doesn't react to anything that's been said by these people in the ring so far. It, but at the same time, it does. And not anything in specific, so he doesn't know what they fucking said. Rather, the story didn't make any sense. But he offers them that whichever one of them wins three matches in a row first, he will wrestle that person in full gear. What? What? To find out, full gear is in four weeks, right? November 23rd. That's the next pay-per-view they're doing. Correct. So all four of these guys have to have three matches, or at least enough of them have to have three matches to where one of them's going to win three matches, and then we'll figure out which, which one that is so that we can advertise that pay-per-view match against the only goddamn star they've got left in the company, MJF. And, and and three of these four people, nobody wants to see wrestle MJF, and one of these people, I don't know if I want to see wrestle MJF, because, god damn. And then MJF says he won't show up at, until full gear, so he can't be attacked, but he hopes that they all get the happy ending that they're looking for because he knows he will. And there was no reaction to any of this. From Tatiana. Well, from Ta Tatiana had a little reaction. I think MJF, it, it might move, too. That, that was his little reaction. That was his little reaction. But then Adam Cole in the ring gives a big group hug to his new ex-heel friends that didn't do a goddamn thing to switch babyface from being heels, except be in the group of the devil when they botched the angle and had to turn the guy that the devil fucked around heel and uh, blah, blah, blah. You see where I'm going with that. What the fuck is this mess? Hey, where's Wardlow? <laughs> hey, Wardlow's got the secret. Wardlow's the only one that's beaten MJF convincingly with no retribution or fear of rebuttal. Why aren't they picking his brain? That's how MJF should get out of working with them. The third week, the third guy they kept arresting for them. Surprise! And he power bombs all four of them at the same time. He can do it, probably. Especially with Roddy and Cole, they're not very big. Uh, I said it before, right? Adam Cole burned down a lot of the graces that he had with a lot of people once he got to... Like, first thing he did in AW's work at Orange Cassidy. Yeah. And they didn't recognize in advance that that was the wrong thing to do. And they still went with it. And there's been a lot of bad shit. I know for a while they tried to give Adam Cole and Adam Page credit for... I drawing the paper, he was, it was like CM Punk and MJF were on the page. Some, some people were trying to say Adam Cole and Adam Page were going through the house, but if you look at the reactions... Yeah, but Harris B. Lombardi was in the first match. If you look at the reactions that Adam Cole gets now from the fans, it's very different than it was just a year ago, let alone two years ago. They like to boom on the music. There's a lot of people in wrestling that mm -hmm. the most over thing about them is their entrance. And unfortunately, Adam Cole is there at that point, and I think it's ridiculous him... You know, again, you look at him, and then you see MJF. MJF's not, a, he's not like six feet tall or anything, but he looks like a guy who's in the gym all the time. Adam Cole doesn't. So how are you supposed to buy that? Let alone Adam Cole's going to be wrestling next week. There's even more of the creatures. What the fuck? How's anyone going to buy him beating him? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Not to, we haven't got to the House of Black yet, but basically, well, it's not spoil anything, but the House of Black uh, beat up three scared job guys, and then Buddy Matthews got the microphone and said, next week, Buddy Matthews versus Adam Cole. I wrote, oh, Jesus. He's twice the size, if not three times the size of Adam Cole. Yes, and the only redeeming factor of the House of Black, they couldn't have made it the fat tattooed guy or Black himself. They got to do it to poor Buddy. Poor Buddy. And then Adam Cole went up to him and nose to nose, and it looked like a goddamn
goddamn gnat nosing up to an elephant. I say, what's, what's your deal, man? What's your deal? And Buddy says, I'm doing it to prove you're fragile. And I'm afraid that they might. I'm afraid nature beat you to it. Oh, Thank you. Wait a minute. Hold on here. I've got it. <laughs> Nothing will ever top me. Only thing I'm saying I chose. Instead of being here, I'd rather be roommates with Blu-ray. I think I stole the <laughs> But uh, Rumble's are dynamite blows up. Dynamite blows up. Rumble's are dynamite blows up. Wait a minute. So now, rock, rock crushes scissors, but paper covers rock, and dynamite blows up. Rock crushes scissors, but Triple H covers rock. But actually, no. Endeavor or TKO itself covers rock. Triple H couldn't just write a check for $30 million. That's true. That's true. If he could, I'd be friends with Back to dynamite. Were you recently injured in a car accident? Look.